Hey everybody, happy 2011. In case we have any new followers this year, I thought I'd reintroduce myself. My name is Karsten Knight, and I am the author of the book Wildfire, which is coming out July 26th from Simon & Schuster. Um, it's the story of the teenage girl Ashlyn Wilde, who discovers that she is a modern-day reincarnation of the Polynesian volcano goddess Pele. So this week I'm going to be talking a bit about the lessons that I learned over holiday break uh, while we were on hiatus. Number one, if you're going to sit at your desk and devour an entire sleeve of crackers, whatever you do, don't count the number of crackers and then multiply by the calorie count on the box. Don't do it. The same goes for frozen waffles. If you get the song Be Our Guest stuck in your head when you haven't seen Beauty and the Beast in over 15 years, you're either working way too hard or you're transforming into a singing French candlestick. There are times in life when improvising yields good results. Ignoring your cookbook, throwing a bunch of random ingredients into the crock pot, and expecting to have a good meal is not one of them. When the highlight of your week is that you get to go shopping for rugs for your new apartment, that's when you have officially gotten old. Oh god, pretty soon I'm going to be playing backgammon with the pigeons in the park. If you discover while you're out shopping for rugs that Ikea has named a computer swivel chair after you, and you get really excited about it, then you're a huge loser. Furthermore, if you text your friend a picture of the Karsten chair sign, and you expect her to be really excited about it too, don't be surprised when she sends you a text message back saying that, much like you, the chair is on sale because nobody wants it. And lastly, I had a thousand people add Wildfire on Goodreads before I reached a thousand followers on Twitter, which means that more of you would rather hear me say 10,000 sentences at once than 10,000 sentences spread out over the course of a year. Are you crazy?